shit out right here. Let's go. Come on. Coming like a missile, hitting him with no warning, get it started. I be like Mike, 60 bars for the verse. Five bands around my neck, remind you that your pockets hurt. We be Taliban, Southwest, go to church. So, we are back with another one. Let's get into the shoot. It's your boy Scan for Scanless Beats. Let's get into it. So, I'm about to show you today how to use DistroKid. A lot of people probably know how to use this. A lot of people probably don't. That being said, here we go. So, if you go to distrokid.com, if you don't have an account, sign up with an account. I'll put an affiliate link in the description. That way I get credited. You don't have to use it, but appreciate it if you do. So once you sign in and set up your account, you're going to go to My Music, Upload, click on Upload. This is going to show you all the services that they apply to. So they put your song on Spotify, Apple, iTunes, Instagram and Facebook, TikTok, Google Play, YouTube Music, Amazon, Soundtrack, Twitch. Pandora, Deezer, Tidal, iHeart. Now to get so first of all, it's asking one song, a single, two songs, three songs. Like if you're doing an album, of course you would go and choose how many songs on its album. In this case, this is a single, so I'm I'm choosing one song. Previously released? No, this is an original work. Even if this was a remix of one of my own works, then I would choose yes, and then enter the proper information. So this is for artist Scantless myself. I got two artist names, but this is under Scantless. Artist already in Spotify. Yup, I'm already linked with Spotify, and you can link your DistroKid once you release once you release a record with DistroKid. You can link link it to your art your Spotify for artist profile. You can build a profile, and then they will be linked through DistroKid, and then it'll automatically bring up your artist name. Same with Apple Music. Alright, now we're going to get into the release date. So when releasing a single, you want to set it a couple weeks out. Two to four weeks. Some even say six weeks. I'm going to set this single two weeks out from today. Today's the 10th. I'm going to put it 24th. That's 14 days. And at midnight a.m. on the 24th, this record will be live. Then I'm putting, I want people to pre-order it, so I'm hitting yes, meaning as of tomorrow, people can go on and pay for the money to pre-order the album. Meaning they can own the album, as soon as it comes out, they'll get access to it. And then right here is where you upload your artwork. I've already uploaded my artwork. This is a song called Feelings, Scantless Featuring Witness. I am the main artist on the song. And witnesses the feature. The language is English. Primary genre hip hop rap. Secondary genre the same. And then here's a song title. So because I'm the main artist. I don't put my name in the title. So what I do is. I put the name of the song. And then if you have any feature. You have to do the parentheses. Type in the word feature. Dot. Space. And then the artist name. If there's more than one artist, you would do like what it says here. Example one. The title, parentheses, feature dot, and then the name, and then parentheses. Example two. Same thing, but if it was two artists, you would do the name, and, and then the name, and then the parentheses. Now, if you had three artists featuring, like if you're the main artist, then you had three artists featuring... You don't put your name in the title. You just do the parentheses, feature dot, name, comma, another name, and then and, and then another name. That's three artists. And so on for four artists or whatever. So that's real important. And then in your artwork, you can't have like no website or no other names that's not included in your title. They'll reject your artwork. Keep that in mind. And then you want to do your artwork to be square. It says uh, 3,000 by 3,000. This is 15 by 15. But it's square. You know what I'm saying? So when you do your artwork, make sure it's square. Because if not, it'll cut off edges. So then it's got all the stuff down here. Read this. Audio file. Click choose audio file. And it will take you into your computer to add an audio file. 
next to that songwriter. I wrote this song, or I managed a songwriter on this song. So, for for in my case, it's both. I wrote this song, and then I manage the other artist that's on this. I'm gonna be make sure I log everything on their behalf. So, music and lyrics is my name, cause I did the music and the lyrics. And then for the feature artist, artist is just lyrics. And this is the feature artist witness. This is his his BMI registered name, which that's important because this links up with your PRO info. Explicit lyrics, yes. Is this a radio edit? No. Instrumental. This song contains lyrics. Preview clip. Start time. Let streaming service decide. Track price, 99 cents. Um, YouTube content ID. So you could have YouTube collect on your behalf. I'm going to say no on this one. I haven't been doing this recently. Reason why? You can go through other companies yourself and get 100% of the money. Because here they're saying 5 bucks a year plus 20% of your revenue. There is other companies out there where they do this and don't charge nothing. The only company I know of right now is Audium. So I can register my works for YouTube content ID collection, collecting money. Um, Audium collects 100%. They don't charge you nothing. So I'm going to use Audium instead of this. I'm going to do Store Maximizer because I want it to maximize all the stores it goes in. I'm not going to do the social phone number. I'm going to do the Shazam and iPhone Siri. I'm not going to do the title mastering. And then I'm going to do Leave a Legacy. Well, we'll hold off on that. I can always add that later. So, select this, a store. I recorded this music. I'm not using any artist name or song title without their approval. No standard. What's this? Apple may convert to standard capitalization per paragraph. I have read and agreed. And just go over all this stuff in depth. Like read over it. To get a better understanding of it. So. I did not choose. I selected YouTube music as a store. So I won't email DistroKid later asking why to upload my music to YouTube. Which I did. Select YouTube as a store, right? It's in here. Because we want it on YouTube. Yeah, Google Play and YouTube Music. Yep. So I want it on YouTube, but I don't want YouTube collecting on my behalf. We're going to hit Done. It's going to upload the track. If there's any errors, they'll email your email that you put on file when you signed up telling you, Oh, you got to change your artwork because that's one of the biggest factors I found is the artwork. If there's stuff in your artwork that is not in your title, like the wording's got to be pretty similar. So mine, it says Scantless Featuring Witness. That's in my song title. And then the song, the title of the song is Feelings. And then that's in my artwork. So pretty much whatever your song title is, that's what needs to be in your artwork. You can't put too much else. So, and then we're done. And now, tomorrow people will be able to pre-order. And then this song will drop on the 24th. And that's how you use DistroKid. Look out for the single drop and feelings. Scantless featuring, Scantless myself featuring Witness. Uh, check it out. I'll show, I'll put some previews up on my Instagram. Follow me at Scantless Beats um, on all socials. Alright man, it's your boy D. I'm out. I'll at you.